As the race to elect a Senate President and Chairman of Nigeria's 10th National Assembly intensifies, His Excellency Dr. Abdulaziz Abubakar Yari Shatiman Zamfara stands out. A former two-term member of the House of Representatives who represented the good people of Anka Talata Mafara Federal Constituency from 2007 to 2011. The former governor of Zamfara State and former chairman Nigeria Governors Forum has indicated his interest in the nation's number three job. Appreciating his leadership qualities in 2015, Honorable Yari's colleagues in Nigeria's Governors Forum unanimously elected him as chairman, Nigeria's Governors Forum, and also called him a unifier because Nigerian Governors Forum under his leadership was united as he worked assiduously to endear the Governors Forum to the presidency under the tenure of former President Muhammadu Buhari. Abdulaziz Yari, a true democrat, an astute politician, is no pushover in Nigeria's politics. His ambition to become the next president of the Nigerian Senate is daily gaining more acceptance as a large number of senators-elect have pledged their support for his ambition. And I'm supporting Abdulaziz Abu Ali from Zampara State. You will look into uh, some virtuous threat, attribute of a person, which from my understanding, he has some quality of leadership. He is a team player. Mm -hmm. We need somebody who is a team player. Somebody who will respect each and every member of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Somebody who will respect the sanctity of the National Assembly mm -hmm. and membership of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we arrive on that uh, position. His Excellency Abdulaziz Yari is a very reliable, intelligent, humble team player and also a party man who promises to ensure a robust relationship between the executive and the judiciary. So you see, we have a yardstick which we will use in choosing the candidate. We are using the constitution and of course the senate rule. Constitutionally, 109 are equal. We can contest. Then the same constitution gave the two chambers of the National Assembly power to regulate their appears. In doing so, they came up with another law, legislation, just like a legislation, where they categorize the members into three, first, second, and third one. When you fall into category one and two, you are qualified to contest for the Senate President or Deputy Senate President. And we are lucky Yari fall into second category. He is a former member of the House. All what I am saying is that let the Constitution determine our action. Let the Constitution control our action and inaction. The main problem of Nigeria is disregard to the rule of law. And if we continue with what we are doing today, we may likely end up in serious crisis and confusion. You can't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. We are elected. Mr. President was elected. Mm -hmm. Yari's performance as a two-term governor of Zamfara State in infrastructure, health, education, which cuts across all sectors, is evident for everyone to see. We are supporting Abdul Aziz Yari because of his capacity. We are supporting Abdul Aziz Yari because he's Abdul Aziz Yari. We are not doing it because of intimidation. No, we are not doing it because of blackmail. We are not doing it because of everything. And nobody can intimidate or blackmail us to go and support anybody. And we are not supporting Abdul Aziz Yari because Abdul Aziz Yari is Muslim. We are not supporting Abdul Aziz Yari because he is from Northwest. We are not supporting Abdul Aziz Yari because he is from North. That zoning is APC Wahala. Okay. It's not our own Wahala. Okay. Our own is Parliament. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we will have Abdul Aziz Yari as our Senate President in accordance with our own wish and plan. Mm -hmm. We will have our deputy from southern part of the country, more specific, eastern part. In road networks, during his administration as the executive governor of Zamfara State, Abdulaziz Yari recorded many milestones in fiscal development of the state and uplifted the socio-economic status of the people. 
Prior to his assumption of power, the condition of roads across Zamfara, including federal roads, were very terrible as most of the roads were almost not motorable. But Shatiman Zamfara ensured he left the state better than he met it. He constructed 54-kilometer Gasau Kaoranamuda Jibiya Road and that of 118-kilometer Mayanchi Anka Daki Takwas Gumi Road. 31.7 kilometer Gusau Kasua Daji Road, 54 kilometer Kaura Namuda Zurmi Gidang Jaja to Jibia in Katsina State, 75 kilometer road linking Colony Rini Gora Jamboko Lambaboko Road, 42 kilometer road linking Talata Mafara Sauna Garbadu Moria Kangara Tasha Awali Road, 33 kilometer road linking Gumi Gayari Badoki. 79.9 km road linking Wanke, Bawaganga, Gunchin, Kalgo, Danjiba, Kucheri Road. 11 km road linking Yandoto, Mada. Yari constructed these federal roads which linked Zamfara with Katsina, Kebi, Niger and Sakoto states respectively. You can't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. We are elected. Mr. President was elected. Mm -hmm. No. I am supporting Audil Aziz Yari because I believe Audil Aziz Yari has the capacity to lead us in four years. Besides, when Governor Yari was in power, he networked 14 local government areas of the state with access roads, at least in each of the local government headquarters, not less than 25 kilometers of roads were constructed with many spurs and drainages. He constructed over 1,000 kilometers of roads in eight years of his leadership in Zamfara State. Among those who were in the state to inspect or commission projects during Yari's administration included former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who commissioned Mayanchi Anka Daki Takwas Gumi Federal Roads, former Senate President Ukola Saraki, who flagged off the Kara Namuda Brenin Magaji Road, and former Speaker Aminu Waziri Tambuwa. Others are former President Muhammadu Buhari, who, before he became President of this country, commissioned 75 km road linking Colony, Rini, Gora, Jamboko, Faru, Kaya, Toboko, and President elect Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, who flagged off the construction of 25 km road constructed to each of the headquarters of 14 local government areas in Zamfara State, as well as Vice President Yamio Shibajo. Conscious of the need to make health care services available and affordable, Yari's administration constructed the following general hospitals Bukura General Hospital, Zormi General Hospital, Berenin Mangaji General Hospital. Gabudu General Hospital, Zurumi General Hospital, Birinim Magaji General Hospital, Garbadu General Hospital, Kagara General Hospital, and Yeriman Bakura Specialist Hospital Gusau, one of the modern health facilities loaded with modern equipments. The administration also recruited no fewer than 325 medical doctors and over 600 nurses who were posted to various local government areas in the state. Education Sector Yari took a drastic measure in arresting the drift in the state system. He immediately set up a committee mandated to ensure instant enrollment of out-of-school children and like magic, the new measure adopted brought in positive results as the enrollment increased from 225,000 to 407,567 in less than one year. To further strengthen the teaching profession in the state, Governor Abdulaziz Yari pioneered the construction of the first ever Teachers Training and Development Center in the state. He reconstructed and rehabilitated a number of secondary schools, which includes Danturai Secondary School, Gasau, Government Girls Secondary School, Bungudu, Government Girls College, Talata Mafara, Government Girls Arabic Secondary School, Gusau, Special School, Gusau, Women Arabic Teachers, Gusau, Government Technical College, Kaura, amongst others. The construction and rehabilitation work consists of the provision of laboratory and science equipment, teachers and other support staff. He also constructed a number of auditorium, students' hostels, and the state-owned tertiary institution. This is just to mention a few of his achievements. I met a uh, uh, okay. we exchanged volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. He asked me to come and join him. 
And me too, I'm asking him that Oga, come and join us. It is better for you to follow us than to go and lose on 13. Definitely, he is going to lose this seat. I am planning to nominate him in the blue of the Senate. Mm. I am loading my colleague mm. who are supporting Abdul Aziz Yari to give me the chance of nominating Abdul Aziz. I am not here to judge uh, Ababio, but I am here to promote the candidature of Abdul Aziz Yari. We deliver a swaju with over 380,000 votes against our own mm. from the north part of the country. The reason for telling you that the entire 109 senators that are available today, it's an everyone had better reason what he's going to do. Yes. And you can change it. Maybe 10%, 30%, yes. are the case maybe. Yes. But every one of them had made up his mind what he's going to do. This is constitutional democracy we're talking about. Yes, that's right. And if there's anyone as a president to protect this, is Wallace well Wedge. Yes. Because he's a pro democracy. Yes. 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 He put the June task immediately. Mm. Yeah. He went for exile. Mm. And then look that. So if there's anybody to depend on democracy, it's mm. Bola Swaji. Yes. So if Aswaji can go to other countries and put for democracy, <laughs> as a head, a leader, mm. this is the way he's supposed to do the better. Mm. Mm. Constitution is very clear that says we should select our leaders within yes, ourselves. Yes, that's right. Yes. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Yes. That's exactly what we're going to do. We'll go to the house, nomination, mm. voting. Yes. Simple. Yes. Simple. Yes. Vote experience, vote capacity, vote competence, vote Abdulaziz Yari for Senate President of the 10th National Assembly.